Hi, Jack Hackett here with another Friday Thought. This week I had a call from a potential client, not someone I'd worked with before. Um, one of my regular clients had referred me on to this person and they were looking for a proposal um, and quote to, do, uh, to undertake a project. And so I had a very brief conversation with them uh, about their requirements and um, she said to me, look, we know we don't need anything comprehensive and detailed, just a basic idea of costs. If you can send that through, then um, we'll get it approved this end and we'll take it from there. Now that is just not something I would ever do and that I would ever recommend that you do either. There's always a few things I do without fail in preparing consultancy proposals. And the first is, getting a really good understanding of what the project requirements are, including, very importantly, what the deliverables are, what you're going to have to produce uh, from that project. And so another thing I do always is turn all of that information into a project plan, a basic project plan that outlines all the major tasks I think are going to need to be done during that project. And then I can estimate the time, the number of consulting days that I think those, those major tasks, tasks are going to take. And I include all of that information in my consultancy proposal and it's on that basis that I estimate the costs and I of course will add any appropriate on costs, GST etc. Um, so I just think that is kind of so important for all of us consultants to be doing every time we have a consultancy proposal to submit because A, you know, the, the, that proposal is going to become the basis of a contract and so I don't want that contract to be, um, you know, airy-fairy and, um, you know, lacking clarity about what it is I'm expected to do. Um, secondly, unless I actually do that, map the project out in a bit of sufficient detail. I have no idea how to estimate the costs. So it could be an overestimate, could be an underestimate, you know, doesn't, you know, either way. So I let the client know that, the potential client know that that, you know, I wasn't really able to do that, that I would give them a proper proposal and quote. And to do that, I'd need to get some more information from them. So just my tip for today. It's pretty tempting when you get that kind of offer because it's way less work. But I really think that you're headed for a much more troublesome project ahead if you take that approach and it's you're going to be so glad that you stepped out a project plan properly to estimate the costs and also to manage the client's expectations about what you're going to do during the project. hope that's helpful and if you actually need any more uh, comprehensive information about how to prepare consultancy proposals, I've got a free cheat sheet on my website and I've put the link to that. It's the first comment in the comments box below and you might find that helpful. Have a great Friday.